And we turn now to our Rising Star City special series. And today we turn the spotlight on Chongqing in southwestern China. It is an engine for economic growth and a hub for freight trains between China and Europe. Li Tuyuan joins us from the city. Hey, Tuyuan, so tell us all about uh, what makes Chongqing special. Sure, Zhaoyang. We're coming to you live at the China Europe Freight Train Service Station in the heart of Southwest China's hinterland. Chongqing Municipality, home to over 30 million people, has become a major logistics center. The city's unparalleled geographical position has helped it in trade and also expand cooperation with other countries. Now, Chongqing, which is often compared to Chicago, serves as a gateway to the lands of Western China, also a transportation hub for roads, railways, and navigable waters. And here you can see those giant containers behind me. Different kinds of goods from not only China but also Southeast Asia are gathered here and waiting to be shipped away. And just five years ago, Chongqing put into the use of this new Western Land Sea Trade Corridor, which utilized railway, sea, road, and other transportation means to reach all parts of the world through Guangxi and South China. And the time spent on transport now is much, much shorter compared to going to the ports in East China. And now, trade between China and Europe has blossomed after the introduction of the transcontinental freight service. And since its inception in 2011, the China Europe freight trains from Chongqing have become a vital link for the country's ambitious Belt and Road Initiative. And our reporter Liu Jiaqin has the story. Take a look. Chongqing, an important to note city, has got another major developmental kickstart. The city is an integral link in the revival of the Asian Silk Road, or part of what's known as the Belt and Road Initiative. New international railway lines are helping to connect modern-day China with Europe. The first line starting from southwest China's Chongqing was put into use over 10 years ago. Trains are loaded with containers filled with laptops and other high-end products in the train hub in Chongqing. They will cover a distance over 11,000 kilometers before reaching their final destination in Duisburg, Germany. From a single laptop computer to mechanical equipment, auto parts, daily necessities, and 31 other products, the China Europe freight trains are seeing constant upgrades. Over the past decade, nearly 7,000 trains on Chongqing have made trips to 110 countries and regions. The new Western Land Sea Corridor is not just a logistics one, but an economic corridor. The city's free trade zone is being established here, and the facility will provide Chinese and foreign entrepreneurs alike with new business opportunities. In September 2017, the first real sea combined transport train of the Land Sea New Channel started operations in Chongqing. With continuous improvement of infrastructure and services, the logistics capabilities of the new land sea corridor in western China has been significantly enhanced. You know, as we could tell, that Chongqing is both a port and a key logistics hub for several nationwide projects that aim to build trade and infrastructure networks with the rest of the world. Extensive road and rail networks link Chongqing to countries in Asia, Europe and Africa through the Belt and Road Initiative. It is also a key city in China's Singapore project to involve or to improve connectivity between West China and Southeast Asia. And 10 years ago, the first China Year freight train started from here, fully packed with digital products. And now, with the regular collaboration between the new Western Land Sea Corridor and the China Year Freight Trains, more and more goods from China and Southeast Asia will enjoy a higher speed, but also a lower cost in transportation. Jiaoyang. Yang. Yuan, thanks so much. Enjoy the city. That's Li Tiu Yuan in Chongqing for us.